This style shared today referred to the previous node workflow. He can convert this reference here into You can change her when you create the picture. Prompt word. Refer to the style. The generated effect is perfect. It prefers to vary detail. Here are the reference weights that can be adjusted. This way you can control the reference action more accurately. Or the style of the picture. Perfect direct reference. Purchase an upgraded version of the null style reference equivalent to iPalliper. I will introduce this function in detail later. And another one. The trick is that if we use Flux to generate this kind of character particle effects, he can't be generation. This may be due to the model. No matter how you prompt him, he can't generate this particle effect. Currently, only Google's image theory can achieve this. This complex prompt, particle this character. I will introduce this technique later. Neither Flux nor SD3.5 can make this face particle like special effect. That's another question. I am using the online mirror of Duana Kula. Everyone uses online. If you deploy locally, if you want to use it directly, just click on my mirror. Update to the latest version. These are the ones I use now. You can say what I can use. Then you can also use. All models have been deployed. No local deployment required. And all my workflow is here. You can use it in one stop. All my workflows. Contains voice. Digital human video generation video. All available online. This is a key point. As for this display, this is just the latest inverse sampling workflow. If you want to deploy locally, you can click. I know clicking on the Comfury tutorial will jump to this image. Inverse sampling, this workflow. The first one is the download and installation of the node here. A simple introduction. There are also a workflow down. This is suitable for local deployment. Let's use. The biggest advantage of my image is that it integrates all practical workflows into a single Confury image. In this way, you can realize all functional combinations in one Confury. Using a different model, or different nodes have different workflows. In this way, the advantage as a Kung Fu can be brought into play. It's all kinds of combinations. If you only have a single workflow, that doesn't really make sense. So this is a mirror collection of all the workflows. Biggest advantage. You can combine all functions in one Kung Fu. OK, now this function is finished. This is very simple. It's just the style reference, etc. Next, let's talk about this particle effect. If we can't achieve it in Flux, no matter how you prompt SD3.5 for Flux, you can't produce this effect. Then we need to use this Google Image 3 to generate. After the generation is completed, if you are satisfied, you can download it. Finally, we use this latest inverse sampling node. Put this. Generate good results for reference. Wait a minute. I will find this image. This way you can achieve an effect that Von Flux cannot generate. I'll look for it.
It seems that there is. For example, this picture shows the effect of flux achieving a crash. Then we use Google. It can generate complex prompts. At present, of course, Google has its shortcomings. Although he can understand the effect of this generation, but he didn't generate realistic enough. All well, the beauty is not enough. Poor aesthetics. We can pass it. Then use this prompt word to regenerate in flux. It is to make up for the problem that the image 3 generator is not realistic enough. Make up for it to flux. This is equivalent to. Let's unite the strong. What he can't do, press image 3 to do it. After finishing, go through flux and refer to it in reverse. Then generate one that you are more satisfied with. Image aesthetics. Here is a little trick. This is what I discovered yesterday. Flux and SD 3.5 cannot produce a particle effective human face. But this way it can be solved. Generating a graph of this particle. In the reverse sampling reference, optimize in flux. Disadvantages of images are. The disadvantage of image 3 is that the generated what tells, images are not realistic say. enough. He still can't particle. So here we can increase his reference wedge. For example, Azure. That's right, this reverse reference. Let me briefly introduce. It is actually a workflow of the raw image process. It's a steady use. His reverse reference now. This is equivalent to restoring this picture to its original state. Generate this picture. Rejuvenation. Generate it to the original appearance. This is a reverse image. Finally, this reverse image generation process is used for normal image sampling. To achieve this precise style reference, at this step you can understand that he is always in reverse. The original image. Return to the original state. Nothing. Will you simply understand its process of drawing? From this initial noise point to this picture, this workflow, just reverse it. To generate once, now we have a copy of the image reference. Finally, this is just the normal process of drawing. It's just that the reverse sampling here is the node to generate the image. Then this is to control his reference strength. There are detailed notes here. How to use his reference drugs can jump to between 0 0.7 to 1. The styling step can be 0. The end can be 9 or higher. But if it is higher, it will change back to the original picture. This is achieve a reference for the image. But the reference seems too similar. He doesn't work very well. So here we can lower his reference. Regeneration. Because Flux cannot achieve this effect, so if I lower his reference value to the lowest, he couldn't understand the effect of particleization. Because like this he will pile up a lot of things. This person's face is still normal. There is no particle effect at all. Because in his flex, he is generated. So here is how to control the full generation. Refer to his picture. So this is a little trick. Tips.
His reverse sampling is very powerful, equivalent to precise control. This arm, similarly to the original image. I will just give you a simple demonstration. You will know. Like this, I lower or raise. He will directly refer to this image. I can delete some of the prompt words below. I made it a little simpler. Then generate. This reference can also be applied to product refinement. Reference method for inverse sampling. This way, he has a very accurate reference. Because I raised this 22301. Please note that this step should be consistent. Your inverse sampling step is 28 steps. There are also 28 steps below. There are notes here. It is equivalent to the inverse sampling of Varola style reference. Copy to the bottom sampling to generate. Finally, we achieve a one to one replication of its generation process. Of course, the example I use here is wrong. It's just that the flux I just discovered yesterday can generate the particle effect of this face. A little bit here. Mention. You can use image 3 to solve this problem. Let's go back to the tiger rendering. Okay, you can write the prompt word here. A mouse walking in the forest. Whole body. Same. On fire. A reminder word. This way of showing the style reference is more intuitive. These reverse samplings are all annotated in detail. This is the default. This is one. Flip the image generation process. This is equivalent to copying the process of generating his image, so as to copy his style, a reference to image content, etc. So it is called reverse mining. Laura can be superimposed here. Of course, you don't if need not to add it. Here I added a fire effect. So, arm, um, the effect will be better. Because this reference weight is too high. So he won't turn into a mouse. He will become a tiger. So let's lower the reference number here. If you adjust to the highest, he just restored it to the original picture. So pay attention to this detail. If the numerical value here is too high, it will return to the original image. This is a tiger. Even the movements will be one-to-one -one reference. So this reference value is actually too high. 
We're going to make a more mouse like. Don't set it so high. You can lower the weight of this reference. So that it doesn't have to do this action. Just don't be so strong about the various references. Its best advantage is more precise and controllable. The strength of his reference. This is the most powerful place. And it's very accurate. If you use a PA style as a reference, it will, anyway, draw the car. It will restore the original image at its function. Control. This is very accurate. Extract his style. It retains the characteristics of this mouse. But if I increase this wedge, more like a tiger. So this depends on the situation. Compare with iPadopter. This is more accurate. iPadopter can be easily understood. An upgraded version of IPI. On um, this action, this weight is more suitable. He also referred to his moments, but will not. The body shapes are exactly the same as the reference, so this can be controlled very precisely. This is its advantage. You don't have to avoid drawing cards like you would with other styles like IPA. There is no other way to draw cards. It is a helpless operation. Okay, that's it for this Let's episode. Let's go play.